Okay, so now I'm going to quickly show you how to plot um, when you've got a function. So with plotting, we want to plot uh, some data. Uh, so we need to actually create that data. To, to do that using a function, a function, we first need to create a, a long array containing the number of elements that, or number of data points that we'd like to plot. So to make to simplify things, I'm going to um, try to create a graph that shows the variation of speed of sound on the y-axis with temperature on the x-axis. Okay, um, so we're going to use our function now because the function um, to calculate density is not actually, or the density part isn't actually being used, I can suppress the, the output um, for the density. We don't need to actually output density, so I'm going to actually put a curly hyphen on that. So that's, so, so that's telling MATLAB not to output um, that particular argument in the, in the output uh, square brackets. Now, for low-level functions such as this, it's not a big deal at all because it, um, it would take very, very little uh, uh, CPU time to actually compute that density. Um, but if this was a huge function where that output required quite a large computation within the function, then making uh, then making that output or suppressing the output might actually save you quite a lot of computation time. So that's just a hint uh, sort of going forward. Anyway, we're not using density, so I've, I've, I've sort of negated that, that output. Speed of sound we definitely do need, though. So I'm leaving that in. Uh, pressure, uh, well, we're not varying the pressure, we're only varying, varying the temperature. So I'm going to reduce that down to just being one input. So I'm going to take the, reduce that array size. I wouldn't, didn't have to do this, but it just saves on CPU time. Not a big deal at this very low level function, but going forward, it's just these little things you need to remember to try to keep, keep your code nice and efficient. Temperature, well, we want a larger array than just one that's containing four elements. So I'm going to actually create a lin space, a linear um, array. Um, this lin space is a function. Um, if you uh, when you're, if you type in lin space and one open bracket, you'll see a little window pop up. You can't see it on this video, but you'll see a little window pop up, which will tell you, sort of talk you through how to complete that function. It's asking me for three arguments in this case. Uh, the low, uh, the first um, element in my array, the last element in my array, and the number of elements that I want in my array. So lin space. So the first argument, I'm going to go from 288 Kelvin down to 216 Kelvin, and that represents the temperature at sea level and the temperature at the tropopause. So in the and then in the stratosphere, lower stratosphere. And I want to have 25 data points uh, to plot. So I'm going to write 25. That's 25 elements in my temperature array. Okay, so that's what temperature is going to do. Um, incidentally, if I just show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's creating 25 columns of temperature. Okay, um, my pre-allocated array, so I don't need the density here. My pre-allocated array for speed of sound also needs to be the same size as this lin space because we want for all 25 x's, if you like, in our y equals f of x in our function of x, our function, we need 25 spaces for the y values as well. So I've pre-allocated this speed of sound array with 25 empty spaces. I'll show you what that looks like again. So there's 25 zeros in there. Um, and we're just going to do exactly the same thing as we did before, perform a, a loop with that function. This time we need to, to have, um, we need the function to be performed on each one of these elements of the temperature array. And there's 25 of those. So we do a for loop with tw over 25 uh, elements. Uh, so for n equals 1 to 25, when it's done the foot, when it's, um, use the function on the first element, it'll go to the next. So, so n equals 2, then a, n equals 3, all the way to n equals 25. Okay, and it's going to produce speed of sound um, f uh, for each of these elements. Okay, so let's run that now. Let's double check it works. 
go to the workspace and we see yep there's 25 elements 25 speeds of sound have been produced so that's great okay now I want to plot those so remember about plotting okay we put our x values and our y values so our x values are temp now if I put a colon there it's going to plot all of the values in the matrix okay now strictly speaking I should tell it which whether to plot all of the rows or all of the columns so we've only got a one row matrix here so it's an array of um, 25 um, elements or it's a 1 by 25 matrix so if you look there you see 1 times 25 so that's telling you it's a 1 uh, row by 25 column matrix so I wanted to plot all of those 25 so we're going to put col a colon in the um, in the uh, um, to indicate that we want all of the um, uh, elements in the columns to be to be plotted. Same thing for speed of sound. Okay, so that's the first row, and then it's all of the elements in that row okay so let's let's plot and see what happens okay so we've got our plot now in the um in this in this area of the screen now if i um press this button here it allows me to edit the edit the plot by hand um which, I sh which you should be able to do so I can do things, if I double click on the x-axis here, I can, um, well, if I click on any, any axis, axis, I can edit the label. So here I'll put in temperature Kelvin, click on the y-axis, speed of sound meters per second. Um, you can put a legend in there if you want. Um, where's the legend button? back up here look insert legend okay if I double click on that I can change the um, label okay or if you can double click on that as well it does the same thing okay um, do things like change the line thickness um, change the plot type if you really want to do that so lots of ox lot lots of options there lots of functionality I expect you to be producing your graphs using MATLAB um, now so you should be able to do that if you want to save you can save your figure as a figure file so my figure um, So there it is uh, appearing. Okay. So I've saved it there as JPEG. If you want to save the figure to keep the data, um, you can also do that. So if you go save as, well, you won't see this window, but um, when you go to the save as, when the save as window comes up, there's a drop down for the file type, and you just change it to. Um, to, to MATLAB figure. Um, call it my figure again, you'll see it appear in here. Second, there it is. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick, um, brief intro into, into plotting. Okay, thank you.